Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This morning my man Corey came in and said, uh, I've got something for you, so I thought I'd share it with all of you. So what have you got for me, Corey? Well today, Jono, unlike other days, usually I would show up Monday to Friday, sometimes on a cheeky Saturday, for a little bit of geisha. And I appreciate you treating me every day. However, today I'm going to treat you to something extremely special. So this coffee is regarded as one of the rarest coffees on the planet. This coffee is the one of the most talked about coffees on the planet. Is this a Panama Geisha? Better. Better. So today, Jono, we'll be cupping... Coffee Luwak! Bumhole coffee. Bumhole coffee. Correct. So obviously this is a perfectly drinkable product of coffee. Uh, and there was a time actually where Luwak coffee was the most expensive in the world. Wait, 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 was? This bad boy here, I'll have you know, is $200 for 100 grams of premium, I'm not going to say specialty, premium coffee luwak. Just for your information, thank you. Top yes. shelf. So freaking expensive. Mm, good stuff. So for those of you who haven't heard about coffee luwak, uh, it's okay. You probably shouldn't have. It's disgusting. If I could explain how it's processed. So pretty much, if you look out into your front yard right now, you might see your cat running around, having a little bit of a pick on the tree, sussing out a couple of little birdies. Now let's just picture you gave your cat a bowl of coffee cherries. Your cat then ate them. If you came back 24 hours later and your cat had shit them all out, you then picked up that shit, roasted it and drank it. That is what coffee luwak is, ladies and gentlemen. So do we know what the origin is? Uh, yes, cat's ass. No, like the country. Uh, Indonesian cat's ass. <laughs> okay, so we've ground the coffee up ready to cup. I'm just going to make a quick assessment on the dry aroma. It's very earthy. And I'm getting a hint of old spice. Uh, and anus, Jono. So we're just about ready to have a taste of the coffee. Uh, we've had a good smell of it. Um, there wasn't much of a crust to clean off. Yeah, not much um, booty hole crust on that one. <laughs> so I had a look around for the roast date. Uh, couldn't find one, so uh, but there is a best before date uh, of 13th of November 2020, which absolutely means it was roasted on 13th of November 2019. And with coffee this old, you're probably just not going to have a good time anyway. Well, I'd suggest that there's probably no best before date because I don't think it was best at any stage of its <laughs> production. Um, and I think it's safe to assume that the cat that passed this coffee is probably long dead now. Um, just one more thing before we get started here. Just gonna give you that one. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. That'll be mine. If I wasn't sick already, I'm about to be. Yum. All right, we are ready to taste the coffee. Now the wet aroma has been quite interesting. Uh, there was a fair amount of liquor, like drambuie kind of things. It's very heavy as well. So um, we'll see what happens. Shall we do it? <sighs> I wanna say no, but the fans are here and they've said yes. You go first though. With pleasure. I'm shaking there. Yeah, spitting that one out. Oh, God. It's no better the second time. Oh, oh, that's awful. Well, you could probably see that this was doomed to fail from the start due to the age of the coffee that we were drinking. And the fact that it's come from an animal's asshole. But hey, if you like it, all power to you. I hate you if you do. But who are we to tell you what to do? Ain't nothing gonna break your stride. Nobody gonna slow you down. Oh no. Oh no. You've gotta keep on moving. 